Accessible and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Get started today by visiting yala.ng or download the Yala mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yala, Hajj and Umrah, the easy way. Alhamdulillah. ثم الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله الأوفياء وصحابته الأتقياء والذين تبعوهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is another episode of our program. Reminder this Ramadan. Today we'll be looking at a topic that is very crucial to our life. As human beings, we need to know one or two things about our soul. As a result of this, the focus of our discussion today is jihad nafs. How can you strive against your soul whenever the soul enjoins you to do anything that is not in consonance to the dictate of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This topic and tells two important words. The first one is jihad. And jihad is an Arabic word. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about jihad. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also explained what we should understand about jihad. In Surah Al-Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that is Quran 22 verse 73, وَجَاهِدُوا فِي اللَّهِ حَقَّ جِهَادِ Fight, strive in the cause of Allah as it is expected of you. As a result of this, there are four stages of striving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first one is jihadu nafs, to strive against your soul from its evil machination. And the second one is jihad shaitan is to strive against shaitan from all his iniquities. And the third one is jihad dunya to strive against this world whenever it's luring you to anything that is contrary to the dictate of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fourth one is jihad shahwat to strive against our lusts whims and caprices. These are the stages of a, a jihad in Islam. Because, you know, some people, when you hear the word jihad, the first thing that will come to their mind is that, hey, this one is encouraging us, advising us to wage war. No, in Islam, jihad in that manner, it is the last resort. There are many things as an individual society we need to take into consideration whenever you mention the word al-jihad. Then the word nerves our soul. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the attributes of our soul. We have an nafsu al-mutma'inna, the soul that is always in 
contentment with Allah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala endows him with. And the second one is anafsul amara bisu, the soul that will always enjoin you to do bad things. And the third one is anafsul lawama, the soul that is self reproaching. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Ulu Quran calls our attention to the importance of taking good care of our soul. In Surah to Shams, verse 7 to 10, Allah says, وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا By the soul, an im who perfected the soul in proportion. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا And he made the soul to understand when it's wrong and when it is right. قَدَ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَاهَا He succeeds, whoever purifies his soul. وَقَدْ خَوْبَ مَنْ دَسَاهَا He has filled whoever corrupt his soul with inordinate wrongdoing. So as Muslims, we are expected to take our soul serious. Also in Surah to Nazarat, verse 37 to 41, Allah calls our attention to the importance, both in this world and the world to come, importance of taking care of our soul, striving against the negative instruction, negative injunction of our soul. Whoever transgresses the boundaries of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, dunya and prefers the life of this world, prefers the enjoyment of this world. Hellfire definitely will be the final abode of such person. But whoever fears standing, in front of his Lord on the day of judgment. As a result of that, وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى and forbids his soul from engaging in iniquities. فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ إِيَ الْمَهْوَى Paradise will be the final abode of such person. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Rahman Abdul Hakim. Allah alaikum. Basically, Ramadan for me is um, a month where we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We um, seek for His mercy, His forgiveness. We, you know, it's a time where we, whereby we get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because, you know, a lot of people have been lost, you know, this life has entered their hearts and um, so it's a month whereby we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that He can grant us His mercy. My Ramadan routine, wake up as early as possible, it could be three, it could be four, sometimes five. But you know, as quick, I'll do everything as quick as possible. Then I'll eat tajud, or yet yeah, I'll observe tajud. If I've not, if I've not observed my witchery before I sleep, I will observe my witchery and um, take my um, sahur. I think I like bread and vegetables a lot. I want to wish everybody Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our Ramadan as an act of ibadah. May He forgive our sins. Oh.
the first Qibla in Islam. I should say uh, this must in a... Oh, the, one, the one behind us? No, no, no. <laughs> you know, your, your children can be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim school says they must know. So exactly I've moves. tried now, one out of two. You've tried? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to ALTV Africa, Ask the Muslims. Here we ask very simple questions regarding Islam, and you'll be surprised at how many answers exist for just one question that has one correct answer. One thing I can assure you is that you would enjoy this show more than any other show on RTV Africa. Don't forget to please stay tuned and don't change that dial. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Ask the Muslims. Thank you very much. So what's your name? My name is Shamsuddin Mustafa. Aja Ami Somatayo Hikmat. My name is Abdullah Mombast. My name is Abdul Razak. Allah Hamza. Aja Rizkia. Muti wala dele ogundepo. Beki se shola kodri. Abdraman Basit, I'll be asking you some simple questions. Are you ready? Very well. Are you sure? Uh, inshallah, may Allah make it easy. You're ready for my questions? Inshallah. Inshallah, you're ready. Inshallah. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I think I should. Be, I, I should be ready. You think you should be ready? Yeah. Take a deep breath. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> Which of the prophets of Allah was also a carpenter? That is Prophet Nu alayhi salatu was salam. Are you sure? By God's grace. Um, Prophet Nu. Prophet Nu? No. Are you sure? sure. He wasn't a mechanic. Uh, no, I thought. He was a carpenter. Sure. No panebita. No, I thought. So, yeah, I but you said you were ready, asked you three times. Yeah, but I never knew you oh, would ask me you? such question like this. <laughs> and even if we were to say which of the messengers of Allah is a carpenter, I would probably say Anabinu. You would probably say, oh, that is your answer. Yeah, that's my answer. I never knew him. So what changed? You see, after I laughed, you're not going to answer. <laughs> because the question, I was never expecting such question. Oh, you were expecting what's the first one in the Quran? Have you simple questions? <laughs> nah, the one, you've been scammed. Not Rasulu? No, was he a carpenter? I should be asking you. <laughs> I knew he was a businessman. Exactly. So which of them was a carpenter? You want me to give you a hint? <laughs> give me hints. I should give you. How much am I going to pay for the hint? Ah, don't worry. I, uh, 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 <laughs> don't worry. Just okay. give me hints. He built an ark. An ark? Perfect. That's Noah. Ah. Noah. Was no. he the one that built the ark? No. Are you sure now? Yes, no. So he's the I'm carpenter? Sure. Yes. So you know you have to you are owing me for the hint. Don't worry. I should not worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Prophet Noah. Ah, you sure? Final answer? Yeah. Ask Prophet No. Ah. Prophet No. Yes, sure. Yes. Prophet No. 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 Final answer. Yes. Not no. Musa, no. not Isa. No. 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 Ah. Mm. In relation to the Ark. Well, no, well, no. Oh, it was on Abyss the Ark. Yes. That is uh, Prophet No. Ali eh? Salatu Are you sure? Yeah, he built an Ark. Oh. Yeah. Not Prophet Musa. No, no, no. No. Noah. Prophet Noah. Eh. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. You know, people, people will be watching you. Oh, yeah, no problem. It's, it's not prof Musa. Prophet Noah, Prophet Noah. Noah? Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Noah. Yes. easy, accessible, and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Get started today by visiting yala.ng or download the Yala mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yala, Hajj and Umrah, the easy way.